This is how you know that life is flying by and the NFL season certainly is flying by. Mm -hmm. The bye weeks have already started. I know. It's week five already. I mean, it's crazy (laughs) that you've got four teams not playing this week. Hope you have some depth on your rosters. I don't have much. Uh, Most people don't. Grasping. (laughs) But Dave will help us. He will. All right, guys. uh, You know, it's interesting. Do you remember the last time the Bears played the Skins? Last year. Last season. Do you remember the score? 9-6. to six. No, no, it was 17-12. 12-9. 12-7. 12-7. Gro- what a gross game. Seven. Yeah, I think uh, Carson won. Wentz threw for 99 yards. Give me the box score on that. Um, I don't Carson know, I don't, I, Wentz went for 99 here's yards. Here's some of the Nuggets. <laughs> okay. Was there bad weather? Joey Sly. Uh, there was bad quarterbacking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can tell you that. Joey Sly badly missed a, a field goal. Uh, with 149 left. Mm-hmm. Um, do, 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 do. Let me see. The Bears then drove 61 yards in eight plays against the Manders defense. Fourth and goal from the four. Justin Fields looked right. Spotted uh, Darnell Mooney, and he bobbled what would have been, remember, the oh, game winning right. touchdown. That's I do right. remember that. Yeah. Almost. That almost would have been the winner. Game. Yes. Yeah, 12-7 winners for the <laughs> The only scoring in the first half was a Joey Sly 38-yard field goal. <laughs> With 46 seconds in the first half. Just a complete disaster. Now, Fields in the game ran for 88 yards. Yeah, the Bears dominated. It was 391 yards to 214. Yep. And like I mentioned, Carson Wentz was the starter in that game. He had 12 completions for 99 yards. Right, Justin yeah. Fields didn't have, like, a ton of yards passing. One I'm, touchdown, I'm one sorry. pick. I'm sorry. I know I'm an offensive five snob, times. but I, I need a minimum, I think, <laughs> I think I need 40 points in an NFL game to really be entertained. <laughs> if you come at me with 19 or 24 points total in the game, total. It's a terrible bo- football it's a, game. It's just a, a bore fest. Of course. Terrible. Well, I can't we, stay interested. Remember, that's the Wentz broken hand game. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. So that's why they didn't score. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That's why they didn't well, score. According to EB. <laughs> the thing that the I, commanders need to be worried about, though, that. from last year's game to this year is Chicago ran for 237 yards. You mentioned Fields, who ran for 88 but David Montgomery, who's now with the Lions, um, ran for 67. Khalil Herbert ran for 74. They had 37 runs for 237 yards against this commander's defense, which really hasn't changed that much. Mm-hmm. That game last year snapped a four-game losing streak for the commanders because they had lost to Detroit, Philly, Dallas, and Tennessee. And then they uh, went to Chicago and, and beat them 12-7 to snap a four-gamer. So take this for whatever it's worth. By the way... This I believe this is when Ron this time last year after they played the Bears when Ron went off and said I looked at the papers and <laughs> yes. and all that it was after this Bears oh, game. Yeah. Do you know that was also a Thursday night game last year? Yeah, yeah, strange. So man, that algorithm that's making the schedule. I don't know. They really think that the America wants to see Commanders Bears in prime time, <laughs> which is weird. You got to give every team one. I right? know, I understand, but it's just like. Back They're like, let's year- kill two birds with one stone. Back-to-back <laughs> years of Commander's Bears on yeah. a Thursday night. That is strange. It's kind of weird. So Jason's talking about the fact that it could be a trap game for the Commanders. No, no, no. I'm um, not. People are trying to convince me of that. Some people are trying to say that, though. If you had to guess, and I can't ID who these are and because I don't have the password and you got to have an account and everything, but there's something called NFL Pick Watch. Well, these has a hack for that. He does? I'm sure. It's called NFL I'm Pick sure Watch. Sure he does. And they've got a ton of expert picks. It ah. looks like, uh, I see, I don't know, well over 100, 150 experts. Um, and do you just care to guess the percentage of experts picking the commanders against the Bears? Tonight? 83%. Now, this is not with a spread. This is just straight, straight up. up. I think it's 90%. Just it's a money line. It's a money line. 90%. Pick. JP? Jason says 83. Cake says 90. 75%. 95%. Wow. Low ball. 95%. Whoa. Pick in Washington tonight. Ooh. Might be a fatal case of groupthink. I don't even think our poll, our junkies poll today, presented by Van Meter Homes, is that Ooh. high. It's simple poll. Who wins tonight? 90% commanders. Man. That is. is everyone... I, I, I think it's a. Look, is everyone I think sleeping that the commanders, the Bears? The commanders really. should win. Think so. They should win the game, but the Bears are desperate. They almost won. Well, they were desperate on Sunday, um, and the Justin Fields wild card to me of him having the potential to go off 
for 130, 150 yards rushing. It happened a few times. Only last one year. team, I believe, in the history of the NFL has made the playoffs after starting 0 4. I believe right. it was the Chargers. I mean, so their season's over. They're not making the Pretty playoffs. Much, yeah. So I, when you say they're desperate, yeah, I mean, no, just desperate for a win. I mean, I guess yeah, he could explode for that sort of rushing total, but his his high on the season is 59 in the opener. Yeah. And he's been lower than that in every game since. Do theory. I, I just don't see him rushing for like 125 or 130 yards against his no, defense. No, but he could rush for 75 or 80. He could. He anointed himself one of the top five rushing quarterbacks of all time before the season. So it's interesting. He, he, might, be, he might be right. I mean, better start him, proving it. Michael Vick, Lamar, Steve Young, With Randall, Fran Tarkenton, Fran Tarkenton. I, I'm sure his numbers pale in comparison, but I guess for his era, um, he was a rushing quarterback. All right, let's let's compare last year to this year in a couple categories. So last year, the Commanders uh, had the, they had mm-hmm. the NFL's yeah, fourth ranked pass defense. They were only giving up 191 yards per game passing. This year, dramatically worse. Now, it's only through uh, four games, but they're giving up 240. They're 50 yards per game That's worse. a lot worse. Through the air defensively. Um, I'm going to guess that number comes down tonight because, uh, look, unless DJ Moore goes nuts and goes for 150 receiving yards... Fields just, did have four touchdown passes in the last game. Yeah, but again, hit again, Cole Komet on a couple of them. Those are the Broncos. Everybody's torching the Broncos this season. So it's I, not just passing wise. Last year they gave up 113 yards per game on the ground. That was 11th ranked. Mm-hmm. So nothing extraordinary, but Solid. just outside the top 10. It's top third in the league. So far this year they're giving up 122. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know, um, so they're decidedly worse defensively. Um, and they've got some. We're talking about the Bears, correct? Yeah, and they've got some injuries in the secondary. We've already talked about that. But well, I mean, I'm talking about no Washington. Oh, you're talking about Washington Washington Washington's like defense. The, the the numbers on Jack Del Rio's defenses are that they kind of they snooze in the first month and then they turn it on like game five onward. We're we're at game five. It's time to turn so it on. Yeah, it's time for the defense to start stiffening up. Well, especially and, with the opponents. Now, right. Let's compare the Bears. So the Bears last year, do you know how many yards per game they averaged passing-wise? Last year, I'm going to guess they averaged 168. I was going to say 160. How about 130? (laughs) Justin Fields last year was basically, he played pretty much every game, right? He he passed for 130 yards per game. I mean, he ran for almost 1,300. Right. He had a great, great... A I think rushing. eight touchdown runs and almost 1,300 yards. He was a top five rusher this in the league. This year, though, this year he's passing better, believe it or not. A lot of it obviously bolstered by his performance last week. They've gone from 130 yards per game passing to 215 yards per game. So they've got actually an NFL passing attack. Mm-hmm. Remember, we barely beat them <laughs> last year. If it wasn't for the pass breakup in yeah. the end zone, we would have choked that yeah, game. Yeah, you have to account for DJ Moore and Cole Komet had two touchdowns in the last game. Like, So there are some viable options for him to pass to. He has thrown a pick in every single game, too. Yeah. I mean, he's got a, I'm sure he's got a couple fumbles. Now, because I think largely because Justin Fields isn't running as much so far, uh, they've taken a big drop. So the gains they've made passing-wise, they've lost rushing. So last year they were rushing for 177 yards per game. This year they're only rushing for 119. Mm. And I think you can directly uh, relate that to Fields. Him not running as much. Yeah, his numbers have tailed off, but his passing numbers have gone up. Which is, I'm, I'm sure, the way the coaching staff probably wants it. They don't want him exposing himself to so many hits running the ball. Now, in terms of rush defense... They were terrible last year. They couldn't stop anybody mm-hmm. on the ground. They were getting up like 157 yards per game. This year, much better. In fact, better than we are. They're only giving up 115 yards per game. So when you look at some of these stats, there is some reason to be nervous. Certainly, it doesn't seem to justify 95% of the experts, including probably all of us, all picking the commanders. Hmm. Right? <laughs> Well, and then by right. the numbers, well, well, it's would, probably a lot closer than you think. It may be closer, but people still are going to go for home field advantage and looking at a team that seems to be in disarray beyond the numbers on the field with the defensive coordinator quitting. Uh, you got Chase Claypool, who 
was was mouthing off, and all of a sudden they've got him benched. Like they've got stuff swirling off the field. If you go to the ESPN matchup predictor, which is always a conundrum for us, <laughs> it is interesting to look at it though. Only sixty percent uh, predict, uh, predict a wins. win rate yeah. for Washington. I don't get that. Right? You would think it would be a lot higher. What do they base that on? All right, let's go to let's go to James in Hagerstown. Hey, James, what's up, man? You're on with the Junkies. Hey, good, mor- hey, good morning. Uh, this is Gene. Gene from Hagerstown. Gene, oh, what's sorry. up, Gene? I'm sorry. What's up, what's bud? How you doing, man? I just think, man, this is our game. This is our game. This game. You know what I mean? The bounce back from that tough Philly game. Um, I really think that they really have to. The Bears really have to look for DJ Moore. You know what I mean? And uh, I think we just got a lot of weapons. We're not looking for a big win. But a close victory is a victory, and we're going to take this dub to move on. Plus, with our standards, I think Dallas will be losing against 49ers. You see what I'm saying? That's going to keep us good in the, in our division. Mm-hmm. So you don't think this is any sort of a trap game? No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. I really don't. I really think this is our game right here that we need to, to, to stand firm on. I think our offensive line will stand up. Sam Howe will be looking real sweet this year. This, this week. <laughs> Yes, he will. He be looking real sweet this week. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have a good party at my job. You know what I mean? Because uh, you know, I work. I'm a bouncer at uh at Lust. You know, Gentlemen's Club. So uh, you know, right. we're gonna have a good party before. for the game. Oh, yeah. He has, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he's called before. Yeah. So, hey, do you guys have? Is there a lot of people there? Like during the game? Like on a night game like that? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Because a lot of the uh. A lot of the uh, bartenders and a lot of the, uh, the, the the managers that work there are, are, are Commander fans. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, definitely, man. Hey, it's what's, what's, what's the name of your top uh, dancer there at the club? Is it like Bunny or something? Like, <laughs> what, what's the what's the name? Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We got we got several good dancers there. We got several good dancers there, man. And then we. What's just, their name? Just give us the first funny. name of like some of the good. Hey, ones. What's their stage name? Oh, their stage name. Uh, you have uh, you have you, you have paradise. Paradise. Um, yeah, you have candy. You have sapphire. Sapphire. <laughs> right. yeah. When Cakes goes yeah. in there, he says, "Take me to paradise." Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Uh, right Rom's, there. Rom's favorite I mean, listen, dancer. Man, Cakes is coming man, this weekend. Time, <laughs> just told time, man, y'all want to come through, man? I got y'all. Oh, you got right. VIP pass. This, this is in drive. Martinsburg. No, listen, no. Hagerstown. Oh, oh, he's in Hagerstown. I'm the bouncer there. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you look yeah, for my lurch. Girl Ernst, he's the bartender. <laughs> my girl Ernst, he's the bartender. So you do guys who drink. You know me, my right. girl Ern. Hey, Gene. The Gene, Earn, when's yeah. the last time you had to throw someone out of the club? Oh man, just the other weekend. It was crazy. It was crazy. Probably every you night. Know, <laughs> Why the guy was just too drunk? Got a cowboy jersey on. Oh really? <laughs> he had a cowboy <laughs> jersey on. You know, he definitely got to get the extra boot. <laughs> was he was he getting a little too close to the dancers, and you had to just show him the door? Yeah, man. Yeah, like cakes. Definitely. Cakes groped him. Is uh, I mean that was alleged. You can't prove anything. There's no video. Well, I mean he hugged. I mean she came to give him a lap dance or whatever, and he hugged you her. You can't prove anything. any of this slander. Right this is slander. Yeah, you know, sometimes we get a couple weirdos in there. Yeah, right. a couple weirdos. Like cakes, get a little handsy. It's drab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah to get a little, yeah, to get a little handsy, man. Looking at the girls. Man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Can't man, people control you themselves? Guys, man, if you guys want to come through. I got you just because it's asked for Jay. I'll be at the door anyway. All right. We got I mean, what's I'm, the name of the spot Lust. again? Lust. 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 Ask for paradise. Why would I see it online? I would need an appearance fee. I'll just know. be honest. <laughs> I'm just being super transparent. Need a handshake. Yeah, I need that cash handshake. You need a kid. Oh, I miss those from back in the day. That was. Those were nice. the best. Hey, Jason, this yeah. is an interesting stat. The Bears. Oh, getting back of to the game. All teams. <laughs> Are fourteen and seven to the over since the start of twenty twenty two. They you know play that? overs. Didn't know that, but it makes sense. They give up a ton of points. Sixty seven percent of the time they 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 go on the over, and they're four and zero on the over this season. What's the total that, uh, this week? I think it's forty four and a half. Go back and look on the FanDuel account. Bears are averaging. They're allowing thirty four point three points per game. And the commanders are allowing 30. The, well, over should be, the number should be like 60 oh, something. Let's yeah. put it all in the over. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's get our money in good. Should I start? I know this is a Dave Richard question. Okay, yes. Justin Fields or Jared Goff? He's Jared probably, Goff's at home. He's probably going to tell you Goff. 
Uh, that's probably my gonna guess. Say, he's probably going to say golf, I would guess. I went with Fields last week close, and that came up I, big. I think yeah, it's probably pretty I close. believe the number's 44 and a half. 44 and a half, yep. Mm. So if you got a team giving up 34 points per game and another team giving up 30, you've got a good shot at the over. My tingle is bump the number down, go over, go over of course, and then take Just take, take Washington to win. I know. I take did the that to freaking Seahawks the other day. You should do that. Didn't hit. So Washington right. to win over 38 and a half. Yeah. Like, you want to like book it? it? Want to book it for a few bucks? I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll book it. <laughs> you love it. You, you love to, all the action. What are you putting on it? I don't know. Five bucks. What do I care? Right, five dollars. There you go. Five dollar wager. I booked it.